Hey, this is Tim with Expert Power Wash. Just wanted to shoot a quick video. There's no magic, no smoke and mirrors or editing. Just wanted to show you this cool six by 10 pressure washing trailer that we just finished up in the build shop. Let's take a look. All right, I'm gonna take you guys around for a quick walk through, walk around, give you an overview, and then we'll start back at the front at the machines. This is a six by 10 pressure washing trailer, full soft wash system there. Let's start over here at the machine. So that, what makes this one unique is it has two pressure washers. So you have the eight gallon a minute gear drive, and then you have the five and a half gallon per minute uh, gear drive as well. So these are both key start. Uh, one has a tank that it pulls out of for fuel, and then the 390 there has a fuel tank built into it. So I'll give you a, a look here at the back side of them. 11 gallon fuel tank. Both machines are custom built machines. These are not off the shelf machines. You can see they both have K7 unloaders. So if you're not familiar with those, uh, those make it so when you pull the trigger of the pressure washing gun, it's going to be a soft pull versus a uh, jerk or a jolt, which is common among most pressure washers. So the unloader is this part here. Uh, it's common that most of them will have like a VRT3 unloader. Uh, those you could tell because they have the black little twisty handle on the top. So these are a little bit higher level, higher quality unloaders. You know, we're trying to think about the end user. Um, you're using this thing for, you know, four to eight hours a day. Last thing you want is the gun jolting on you every time you pull the trigger. Get a look at the front of these again. Really nice machines, really well built. They are very compact on the aluminum frame. Everything is uh, done with heavy duty materials. If you take a look at these skids, you can look at the materials there. Everything is heavy duty. Uh, another thing on our gear drives here, you can see that there's a mount here. So that's gonna take away some of the vibrations. I've seen people build these gear drives before, before and uh, not support them. So again, custom built machines. They have recharging systems on it. We'll keep the battery recharged as they're running. We'll look at the tanks next. So this is a seven gallon soap tank. And then if you're looking at the slim tanks here, you have two for water and one for chem or bleach. So you can look at the way that we have these plumbed up. This is plumbed up with heavy duty, uh, large plumbing. So these tanks, the water will flow through them. So two of these will make one. What makes it really cool when we uh, plumb tanks together, this right here, this is about 12 inches. So the water, when it moves, if you're, if you're, if you have water and you're hauling water, it, when it sloshes, it's only going to slosh there. So if you have 200 gallons of water and you're, you're moving, the slosh effect is going to be a lot less. On this particular trailer, I'd recommend not really hauling water. It is a single axle. So this is going to be a small compact. It's going to have everything that the big trailers have on it, but a little bit more compact and a little bit less of a weight rating. So again, I wouldn't recommend traveling around with full water. But uh, if you did want to haul a little bit of water, then you would reduce the sloshing effect. Show you the plumbing, kind of how we have some of this stuff ran. You got sweeping stainless steel 90s. The straps are all stainless steel. These straps right here, when we use the square tubing, so these tanks are heavy duty. They're a lot heavier duty than, than most in the industry, but all tanks will have like a little, little uh, where it'll bulge right there. So when you use these types of straps, that takes away that bulging. All right. We'll go around over to the business side, the fun side of the, the build here. So coming around the back here, you have a 12 inch, our brand new expert reels, everything in these, the internals are 316 stainless instead of the 304 on the Titans. Uh, the swivels have been upgraded to 316 as well. Give you another look at the side, the handles 316. Everything's heavy duty. If you look at these brackets, night and day difference from these to the Titans. Next here we have our Pro Mixer XL. We put these on all of our builds. You have the water, the soap, then of course the bleach there. And then over here we have our rinse valve system. So what this does is when you flip this to water, 
This brings water in through the bleach valve and that keeps that rinsed out, keeps it clean, makes it last longer. We're using all Dole Control Remco pumps now. Take a look at the backside there. There's our plate mounted pump. We do sell this separately uh, on our store, pressurewashingskids.com. If you're interested in any of these types of parts, we would love to build you a complete build. Uh, but if you're wanting just some of the parts that we use on our builds, we do sell those as well. So take a look at our website. They are live on there. Next reel here, this is an 18 inch reel, another expert reel. And this is going to be the soft wash application hose. Got your sprayer gun, all stainless steel. You got crimped ends. These are now stainless. In the past, those stainless crimp ends were well over a hundred bucks. I think we were coming out of a COVID pricing or something there, but we've gotten them down a little bit less. They are still expensive, but when we buy those in bulk, like 200 at a time, we can get the pricing down and make sure that's something that we're putting on the builds for you guys. All right, next reel here. This is 200 feet of high pressure hose. This is the gray non-marking hose, but it's not the typical hose that you'll see on a lot of other builds. This is the Fierce Jet, really nice stuff. You have a heavy duty uh, hose reel whip line with the 45. We put all these extra parts to make this stuff so it's super usable. You got the ball valve swivel on here. If you look at the way that this is plumbed up, this is on a quick connect, as well as the machine down there, if I can get the camera down there. That's on a quick connect as well. So if you ever have any hose, hoses blow and you need to bypass reels or bypass a whip line, everything's on quick connects. All right, give you another overview of my favorite uh, shot of this trailer is the front there with the two pressure washers. Again, if you're interested in anything like this, give us a holler, 503-403-6185. You're probably not gonna remember a number off of a video, but if you just search expert power wash or pressurewashingskids.com, you'll find us. We're out here in uh, Oregon City, Oregon. It's just south of Portland. Interesting thing about the town that we're in here, it is the very, very end of the Oregon Trail. So if you're familiar with the Oregon Trail, that's where we're situated, right here at the very end of that trail, just south of Portland. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. If you have not hit the subscribe button, we found out that 70% of our viewers now are not subscribed to the channel. We do cool little walk arounds. We throw tips on there, things to help you out with your pressure washing business. If you wanna hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, that's kinda of like a digital handshake. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you.